hey so don't use string but why the big question is why the answer is because of its performance now the question is if not string then what do we have to use so and when it becomes actually slow now you must be doubting me that my whole application is full of string and i never saw a performance issue so i am saying don't trust me what we are going to do today we are going to use a tool called benchmark that will crack all the matrix for us and we will read all those matrix to see if we really have to use string or we have to use some alternate so let's go ahead and let's see all what happened behind the scene So here we are in the Visual Studio and this is our console application that is going to help us today to track the performance. Okay, so what we will do, we will create a function and I will name it, hey, this is my white type and let's say performance of uh, what? Performance of string, right? So we are going to create a function called performance of string. Now let's do, you know, let's create one uh, string variable and say this is just a name, right? And put some value here. So, uh, 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 not this. So, let's say Parveen is a name, right? And now, what we will do? We will create one for loop here. What I will say? Hey, int i should be start from zero. The initial value is zero, and i should be less than equal to what? Let's say thousand by thousand. Let's say ten thousand. And now, you know, increment every time, right? So, let's write some logic here. So, what we will do? We will try to concatenate so let's write a uh, control z yeah let's copy this and say hey let's concatenate something and say plus equal to and what we'll say we will say let's concatenate every time that i right and let's convert into string because we are performing string operation so we may so otherwise we may face issue of something called conversion type conversion right so now we should be good okay now great so this is done and now what we have to do we will create a method called string builder right just copy this create another method and we will name it string builder right and here instead of this string name so what the syntax we will say you are string builder and string builder comes under a namespace uh, if i go here you see system dot text right so string builder is a class okay now come here so since it is a class uh, we will create an object so let's name it string builder and say new and string builder right so this is my object name string builder okay since this is object so let's you know uh, copy this and add and append the item so the operation is similar here we were concatenating manually now what string builder has done they have created a one method called append now we have to use that okay and let's append you know same value per veen and every time i wanted to concatenate i within it okay so we are good let's convert here to string as well okay so we are good here right okay now how we will track the performance so we are going to use a tool called benchmark so you can find that easily from the nugget package if i can show you if i go over manage nugget package uh, where you are not here so let's say right click again and say manage nugget package so this tool this library i have installed benchmark.net so that will help us but if you look at my previous video for you know performance of loops for each for loop so over there i have written custom logic but this time i have decided to use benchmark tool okay so i have used already this benchmark tool here if i can show you from the dependencies under packages are uh, here so you will see i already have called benchmark.net right so now how to use that tool so what all we have to use so it give an attribute called benchmark so we have to just place that benchmark here you go right so if you want to track a performance of this method you have to add that attribute over here now if you wanted to track the performance of this put attribute here right so there is a one more important thing that we need to do that you know we have to put a one more attribute on the class level that is something called memory diagnosis so let's add that as well memory ah uh, you will see yeah here you go memory diagnosis right and why see i see all these options because i have this namespace here ah uh, you see yeah this one the first one benchmark.net.attributes right now this code 
is still incomplete but why it can't show me anything this benchmark is still dead they are still incomplete what do we have to do we have to we have to you know give some brief to this benchmark so for that what all we have to do we have to say a uh, benchmark runner right so there some, should be something called benchmark uh, let's see if there is something called benchmark runner here you go right and we have to say hey you run and what run what we have to say this program class right and here you go that's it right so this is going to give us a summary right so now what do we have to do we have to execute this to check the performance okay so first thing you know benchmark won't allow you to run in a debug mode so let's run it in a release mode right so i'm going to change the release mode and now let's run it okay so it takes some time you know to calculate all the performance and things oh so here we go method must be public okay so benchmark is not happy so we have to create everything public right so let's make it public okay so public you also and i think we should be good now let's give a one more try okay so let's see if it is happy or not okay it started working now it started collecting all the metrics so it takes some time so i'm going to speed up this video to collect all those data okay so here we are so everything is ready now so if you look over here you know we have the performance of the string and string builder method right so i'm going to talk you know why one is fast and other is slow okay so if you see here so don't focus on mean error as till dev you know this generation of garbage collector because we are going to create a separate video on all those you know how benchmark works but let's focus on this this allocated is more important because this is going to give us that idea how you know of the performance of string and string builder so if you look at over here it says you know the memory allocation that needed was 37712.35 kb but on the other side for string builder it just took you know uh, 1000 kb almost like 1 mb right and if i talk about this in mb you know i think it should be uh, 300 some mb let's just calculate it ah uh, let's open the browser here and i will put here so let's see oh my god 370 mb you see the worst performance of string on 10000 records right when it has to perform that much of concatenation well now the why string builder was like was so quick just 1 mb for 10000 of record now here comes the concept of mutable and immutable because string is immutable what that means that means the understand the english word of immutable that is something you know it cannot change so what happened here behind the scene when you created a string variable and you assigned this value now you are you know concatenating this every time right so what happened behind the scene it has created a object 10000 times so every time when it is assigning something when it is a concatenating something that is a drawback of string string variables so that is why you know it took so much of memory for the allocation now you must be wondering that why so many you know objects now that is the problem with string that's why i was saying don't use string so on the other side for the string builder you see here we have a full control of object creation here you don't have a full control of object creation in string you just assign rest you know dot net compiler dot net take care of everything or object creation but here you are saying that i am going to create a object and only one time in string builder you are saying yeah this is my object and whatever operation that i need to do or perform within that object only so only one memory right but here was the opposite you don't have any control dot net we will take care and dot net understand every time you know whenever you will assign something whenever you will concatenate something it will create a new object and that was the only reason it is slow now the question is should we really stop using string right no 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 use string when you don't have to perform lot of concatenation right but when you have to perform lot of concatenation go for string builder there you tell the dot net compiler that i am going to use only one object right okay so that's all for today video see you in the next video bye bye